So we will be talking about the function str, str, okay? It finds if a string is a subset, a substring of another string. In this case, is S2 part of S1, okay? And we have a, a sample example uh, sweater. And we are going to check if S2, which is eat, is part of a sweater, right? So the algorithm works like this. We will be going over at each index i equal to 0, right? And j equal to 0. We are going to check if every element of uh, S2 occurs at index 0 first, right? So obviously S and E are not the same, right? So we need to move to the next index, right? So let's move that next index to the right. We're going to check like this. And then we are going to compare at index 1, I equal to 1, if every cell in S2 are the same. W and E are not the same, so we kind of not proceed with the rest of the cells in S in J, right? So we need to move again to the next cell. And here, if you see, we're going to check again at index 2 and see if every element in S2 occurs in S1. So E and E are the same. So we're going to go to the next element and uh, A and A are the same. Go to the next element, T and T are the same. Obviously it occurs, uh, right? So we are going to break away and say S. S2 is a substring. And we are going to print just the index where it actually occurs. The index occurs at I equal to 2, right? So the algorithm basically works like this. You take the for loop, i equal to 0, i less than the string length of S1, right? str len S1. There's a better way, but uh, let's take it a simpler one, okay? And uh, for j equal to 0, j less than string length of s2, and j plus plus, all right? So here, we're going to check if s1, this is a very key concept that you need to understand here, i plus j it is, right? at i plus j is same as s2 j. If you go here, if you check that, if not equal to actually, if it's not equal to, we stop, right? We don't want to proceed any further. If it's not equal to, we kind of break, break from the inner loop to the next index, right? So here, this is the concept that you need to understand is i plus j, why did I do that, right? So let's say I pretend at i equal to two, at i equal to two, right? And j, we're going to start at j is equal to zero, right? And uh, we checked at, uh, uh, at at S1, S1, 2, right, is equal, is equal to S2, 0, right. Then we are proceeding to the next index of i, right. So this is, we are proceeding to the next index, S2, S1, 2, I need to go to the third one, right. To the third one. So the only way I could do is 2 plus j, right? This 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, right? 2 plus 1 is 3. And uh, 2 plus 2, 
is 4. So that is why this i plus j comes in here. A lot of people miss this. All right? So you need to pay attention to that substring and uh, see how this algorithm works. Okay, well, here is that guy. So the key concept here is, is this. So try to understand that concept. Why did I do that? So once you 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 are here, once you the loop is completely done, right? And you are here, you need to check, did you go all the way up to j equal to two, right? When you're here. That means what you matched every string, right? If j equal to string length of s2, that means you are exhausted all j's at a particular i. For a particular i, i equal to we don't know what that i, you, you exhausted all j's, that means there's a match, so you print that index. That's all the algorithm is. So here I'm going to lay out the algorithm for you. All right. I'm going to just go up. All right. So here, same thing what I did shown you, and a second for loop and uh, i plus j not equal to if it's not equal to you break once you're done you check if j is equal to s2 that means you found a substring you can break out of the in the for so that is the main algorithm i'll upload it and here if you see um, there's a better algorithm uh, instead of doing the string length s1 see why you could use just length which is a difference of string length minus string length s2 so there is a way this probably this is a better way right so but figure out why i do that that's for the homework for you okay thank you